Any questions for Gunnar Romney? Jared, and then Jay. Hey, Gunnar. How's it going? Jeff just talked about uh, maybe the offense slipping a little bit in terms of timing and rhythm during this long, you know, kind of layoff between games. It felt like things were back a little bit better today. What do you see as far as that timing and rhythm for the offense and, and uh, making sure it's in place in time for the game? Yeah, you know, this is this has been a really weird situation that I've never experienced, you know, going three weeks between games in the middle of a season. So, and obviously we weren't, we weren't able to practice as a full team last week just because of uh, some, some uh, restrictions that we had. So it, it was a weird time where we didn't get to go together as a full offense. And so it's, you know, it's hard to keep that mid-season form when, when that timing's perfect because that's, that's crucial to an offense and you have to have that through repetition. But I think this week, you know, we've, uh, we started off a little bit slow this week, but I think throughout the week it's gotten better and better. And I think we're looking the way we did before this, this long layoff. So I think we'll be ready to go in the game and it's, it's looking good. How much of a benefit is the experience in that to be able to maybe turn it back on after it, it kind of fell apart, fell off a little bit? Yeah, I think it's huge just because you, you know, you have that history with the quarterback and the other receivers um, to, to know like what you, what you, what you need to be in to, to succeed. And so I think it's huge, uh, you know, us uh, rallying all together and getting the younger guys on board with, with them knowing what the standard is. And, and I think it's that experience has really helped us, you know, uh, not take too long to get back into that shape. Hey, thank you. We'll take questions from Jay, Mitch, and Jake. Hey, Gunnar, I just noticed you lead the NCAA in uh, yards per catch, something like 34 yards per catch. You think you can keep that up the rest of the season? Hopefully. I mean, that'd be, that'd be some, some unreal number to have 34 yards per catch. But, uh, I mean, that'd be awesome if I could keep it up. But, you know, I'm not really too focused on stats, just focused on winning the games. Is that part of your game, though, that big play capability, do you think? And is that something you've worked hard on this offseason to develop? Yeah, for sure. I think that's that's one thing that uh, we need a guy to really step up, and we needed that guy um, this offseason to, to really step up for this year. And so that's something that I've been preparing myself for, that that role is something I've been practicing a lot. So uh, that's, that's, uh, that's what I want to do. I want to be the big play guy. But at the same time, I want to be well-rounded with, uh, with everything. I want to be that – that you know, short guy, that that long guy. I want to be everything. Gunner, with this new orange phase or going back to the orange phase in Utah County, has anything changed for you, the the players on the team, as far as testing goes and, and getting ready for Saturday's game? Has anything changed compared to what you experienced leading up to Navy? No. So we've been we've been doing a great job of you know being safe all throughout fall camp and all throughout the beginning of the season. So nothing's really changed for us because we, you know, we're prepared for this, but you know, it's, it's hard, you know, with the fans and stuff, we, we were expecting that, but you just got to bounce back. We played Navy with no fans. And so we can play here with no fans too. So I, I think uh, it hasn't really been a huge uh, difference in, in what we see, but hopefully it won't affect us at all. You've, come seen, game time. you've seen every step of the way uh, in the Jeff Grimes offense since 2018, been part of the program. Uh, this is your third year. Where, where do you kind of put the, the confidence level of the offense right now compared to where it's been in, in previous years and in, in your in previous experiences here in the program? I think confidence is at an all-time high right now. Everybody is, is bought in. We have a lot of experience. We have a lot of guys that have been in his offense for three years now. And so everybody knows the expectations. Everybody knows what needs to be done. And it's, it's all clicking right now. It feels mm -hmm. like it's all coming together and people are bought in. And so it's really cool. I'm really excited to see uh, what it holds in store for the rest of the season. Gunner, Troy in their game last Saturday had a number of interceptions. Obviously, that goes into where the passes go, et cetera. But what have you seen from this secondary as you get ready for this game on Saturday? Yeah, you know, the, the secondary, they're really active. They're really aggressive. They got some great athletes. So we need to be prepared for that. We need to, we need to obviously be on our A game, and we need to step it up and uh, be ready to match the intensity that they're going to bring because we know they are. And so we really just got to focus on ourselves, though. And as an offense, uh, the defense is going to throw whatever they can at you, but as long as you stick to what you know and uh, you execute better than them, that's all that really matters. What is the excitement level just in terms of you guys being able to play at Lavelle Edwards Stadium even without the fans? It's fun. Home games are so fun. And, you know, Lavelle is 
that that stadium is one of the coolest stadiums in all of college football with the backdrop and and everything. So I think everybody is really excited to to have the opportunity to play football because uh, last week we didn't even know if we were going to get the opportunity to to keep going. And so now that that we know that we have a game and we know that it's going to be here, I think everybody is really excited to play and and we're we're all really looking forward to Saturday. Okay, we'll take a question from Jared and then Sean, you'll be the last one. Gunner, we, we also asked Jeff about, um, you know, kind of uh, the, the way the tight ends have had to step up to fill the void left by Matt Bushman and the injury there. And he said the wide receivers have to do some of that. Running backs, everybody kind of has to do that. What do you see as you guys are trying to trying to approach that and make sure the, the things Matt could do are being done, no matter who it, are, are, are the ones doing them? Yeah, you know, Matt, Matt's an unreal playmaker and he's an unreal football player. So it's kind of hard to to match what he does, but we're doing it in different ways. Like we're doing a lot more, you know, receivers are, are stepping in and, and running a lot more of, of the routes that he was running and kind of uh, kind of trying to take that role upon us. Well, when the tight ends are doing a great job of, of you know, filling in where he was where, where he was in the blocking game. And so it's been cool. Just everybody is, is sort of taking on the responsibility on their on themselves. And so it's not just, you know, the tight end group. It's it's everybody that's that's taking that on and everybody has sort of stepped up their game a little bit to know that we have to, because we know that we have to fill that void. Sean? Gunner, I, I know this Troy team is one that the last couple of years has kind of had a, a penchant for upsets, uh, for lack of a better term. They've gone on the road, beaten ranked teams. I'm sure Coach Grimes has told you about when they came into LSU a couple of years ago and beat them. Is that something on your guys' mind at all or that you're kind of reminded of? Or is it even something that you need to talk about just in terms of taking them seriously and, and kind of knowing what their track, is, track record is in that regard? Yeah, and we've obviously – we've talked about how, how they, they show up in big-time games. And, but I think the preparation for every single game for us is the same. And so we go in, you know, and it doesn't really matter what opponent it is. We, we're supposed to have the same mindset. And so it's not it's not a huge focus on oh you know they're going to come in and upset us it's it's just you know they're another opponent and we have to prepare the same way that we do for every opponent no matter how big the game is and we just have to to match or bring more energy that they bring. Hey, thank you, Gunner. Thank you.